you know the pattern, rain and storms. It's something we're pretty used to during these summer days. And with the onset of storms comes the increase in lightning, which can lead to house and brush fires, e injury, even death in some cases. Last summer, Orange County Fire Rescue responded to 39 calls directly related to lightning strikes. Morning Anchor and health reporter Kirsten O'Connor talked with Public Information Officer Carrie Proudfit about the department's response to lightning and how you can keep safe during the storms. I think people who aren't from Central Florida, who are mm -hmm. called transplants, um, may just be unfamiliar with yeah. how, just the proximity, um, yeah. you know, with different uh, storms and how close you can feel the lightning and thunder and everything like that. Um, have you guys seen people actually be struck by lightning? Well, certainly, certainly in the past, uh, even in Florida, I think it was three people last year died as a result of a lightning strike. One in the area. And so I think you're right, Haley, that as a visitor, um, if you're not from this area, you're not accustomed to that rhythm we get into. The good news is that the storms tend to roll through and then they roll out. So you really only have to make an accommodation for a certain period of time. But if you can hear that thunder, that is your earliest indication that it's time to take a break and safely get indoors until it passes. I saw it was we have in this thing, it can reach temps of up to 50,000 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. right. Incredibly, incredibly hot. And, and so um, that is why it's best to enjoy it, certainly from that safe distance. You know, the dangers of lightning are, are varying. Um, not only do we talk about the potential for house fires, uh, for brush fires, um, but in coming in contact with electricity or water. And so there's just a lot of areas you got to keep awareness out to protect yourselves from the dangers of being struck by lightning. I know one of the big things for our meteorologists is mm -hmm. the lightning on the beach. Yes. Um, I don't know if the firefighters are ever called out to that type of a call, but that is uh, where they often, you know, really put out the warning. No, absolutely. And although we're an inner county, I do know I was at the beach last weekend. Um, amazing job by the beach patrol in New Smyrna Beach. And, and I watched as the lightning rolled through and on with their lights, they went, they did their very best to clear that beach in a safe and timely manner. So absolutely, um, it's not just the inward counties, but also those that are on the coast as well. What's the biggest concern when it comes to well, lightning? It seems like this time of year, the biggest concern have to do with attic fires. So uh, all too often, what we'll hear is a caller will dial 911, they'll report, I heard a strike, it was very loud, but some time passes. And what we find is that that lightning strike affects that attic area. And so a fire in the attic can sit quietly and it can smolder just a little bit and then a little time passes before the resident actually smells the smoke or sees the flame. So, so something that we like to encourage, if you think that has happened, if you can safely investigate that, if you need to evacuate your home, certainly do so. You can go to a hard topped car or maybe a neighbor's home if it's, if it's safe. Uh, and let firefighters come in and explore that and extinguish any potential for fire. We've seen residents place smoke alarms up in that area near their attic. That's also an additional great detection to give you a heads up in the event that there's smoke being produced from that attic area. You know, a lot of times we're successful in extinguishing that fire, but what is so, so dangerous is if it gets in that attic and it starts to move within the walls or in that structure, you could potentially be looking at you know, losing everything. And what do you recommend uh, you know, for a bystander? If they notice that, let's say a neighbor is struck by lightning, how can they sure. help? Well, absolutely, first thing is, is to check on that neighbor, to render aid, to initiate that aid if safely possible. Uh, one of the most, mis the, the most prominent misconceptions is the hesitation to place hands on that individual to initiate CPR. The body in itself would not be holding that electricity. Uh, as long as there's not anything like a power line that is an extension of them that's fallen on them. But in the event that somebody near you is struck by lightning, call 911 as soon as possible. Those seconds really matter. That's so important mm -hmm. to remind everyone about yeah. that. Now, as far as the smoke alarm in the attic, Orange County Fire Rescue recommends having one on every floor and making sure to test them often mm -hmm. and keep it part of your housekeeping routine. Also, when seeking shelter in your outside, do not go under a tree. And remember, mm -hmm. when thunder roars, go indoors. It is scary, but it is important at that first sound of thunder to get inside.